Hi everybody, welcome back to Toys TV for another Pixar car custom car. In our last couple of videos I showed you all the cars I made, but I forgot one. How did I forget this here custom car? That used to be bright red giant Lightning McQueen, and now he's huge, fabulous Lightning McQueen. Did that a long time ago. So I'll put that away again because we are going to make another custom car right now and the poll results are in. People voted. Stinger came in second. Emma came in third. But most people want me to make Gerald. And Gerald is from the Pixar Cars video game. And he's grey. And he has number four on the side of him. On both sides actually. He's grey with grey wheels. And Gerald appeared in the first game. The first race I should say. Uh, he appears in the cutscene in the Radiator Cap Circuit where he challenges Lightning to a race. He didn't talk in the cutscene, then he raced in the race. So I think um, people told me this isn't very rare, but I'm not going to open it anyway. This is um, David Hobcap with, with headset. I don't know who he was in the movie at all. I'm never going to do him. That's um, very rare, that guy. And didn't play a big part in the movie. He was crushed into a cube after a couple of seconds. So we're not going to do this. Uh, Mustang burger guy. We're going to use rod torque line to make stinger But we're going to use this gray one here Pavlov somebody told me his name, but I forget it right now But I actually made a video of this guy unboxing it So if I find the video, I'll put a link in the description so you can watch it. So what I'm going to do with this guy He's um, he's almost gray anyway, so I'm just going to paint it gray over this here And this is not this could be I, I usually prime these cars. I'm just going to paint it gray and I'm gonna, his wheels are already gray, I can leave them alone. And then I gotta work on the number four on the door. And that'll be it for, um, won't be much of this video actually. It's just gonna be a gray um, Gerald, and then we'll work on Stinger for the weekend. He's in, uh, he's in this car. And Emma might be on Sunday. Okay, so just bear with us here. And I'll get the paint out now. I gotta move my cars out of the way a little bit because I got them all sorted out here. And I'm gonna make room to paint. The first thing we're gonna do is paint them gray. Let's get right. Look at all the cars that gathered around to watch. Look, we have Lightning McQueen, and somebody wants you to write Rust D's on the engine hood in this Rust, in this Lightning McQueen. I think it's that one, or I'm not sure they want me to write Rust D's on is this one or the other one. Please, if you made that comment, send in which one you want me to write Rust D's on. And there's retired the King, uh, Leakless there. He's actually retired. Um, Candace, Zebra, Mater. Look at these guys, Tater and Tater Jr. And there's Major. Okay, let's get the paint and we'll start painting in gray. Now you guys like close-up, but I'm gonna try and lock it in place so I can do the best I can to get a nice close-up on this guy. Okay, I added a bit of black to the gray to make it a little bit darker, because according to my pictures, Gerald is not light gray like that color. He's a bit dark gray, so I'm all set to go here now. Okay, I got a nice new brush here. I'm gonna try and get it. We don't make too much of a mess. See, do we need two coats on this guy? Looks like it. Looks like I'm going to put two coats on, fellas. Oh well, I thought I was going to get away with one coat, but the way it's looking, it's not going on very deep, so that's why I prime them all the time, just to make sure. Now this color is the same color as primer, so it'll be almost like painting them gray. I thought I could get away with one coat, but oh well. Anyway guys, thanks very much for tuning in to watch the videos. I hope you like the premieres. Uh, it's one of my favorite things now is to do the premiere. Get a video up bright and early, so you know, we got to Good, he's all set to go. I don't have to draw a mouth on him. It's perfect. I can just draw some white around that. Great. I'm worried about that. There we go. And the second coat already filled in. Make it nice and deep. And I have to try and get a little tiny bead of white around the window. And I have to write number 43 in a big circle on each door because apparently Gerald is number 43. Now that color is pretty darn good. That's a good match. I can't wait to um, see it when it's dry. Now Gerald only appeared in a video game. I mean, in the radiator capture, I remember racing against Gerald lots of times, but I never put any names on them. I'm glad you guys are liking these cars from the video game. You can't buy them anywhere. I've never seen a car's video game. Like, look at the other ones that are up there. Really strange looking cars, and you can't buy them anywhere. So we're just gonna make our own. And one of the guys, uh, Daniel, I think was really pleased that we're making the cars video game cars. We got over a hundred cars here behind me that I made over the last year from the video game series. I mean, from the Pixar Cars franchise. Everything from um, Fritter, right down to Mater. Different types of Maters. Fabulous cars. Dozens of fabulous cars. Or at least a dozen, I should say. I shouldn't say dozens, but a lot. Especially that huge Lightning McQueen. That was huge, as you've seen. Now, unfortunately, it's not doing a very good job this first coat, so 
I'm just gonna worry about the second coat, getting that done, and make sure it covers it really nice. It's gonna look pretty cool when it's done. Then the hard part's right in the circle on the side. I mean, draw in the circle and then write in 40, number four on the door. Both doors, wow. Okay, I missed the spot back here. I'm trying to hold the car in the in the tray this time so it gets a better view for you guys. I hope it's a little better. If it is, let me know. It's say, don't, doesn't matter. It looks the same to us, so I can hold it with my fingers too. It's no big deal. Just trying to be uh, better at this here. And I got a little tiny brush I'm gonna use on the eyes in a second. So make sure it's completely covered. Right over here, I got a tiny little brush, brand new. I'm going to try and do the eyes without making a mess. As I usually do. But this is hard work. Um, I see a few guys, another channel I just noticed today are making uh, custom cars with paint, learning colors it's called. You can learn colors with painting cars and they're making all kinds of messes and stuff. It's pretty cool. I forget the name of it right now, but um, they got over a million subscribers. So I'm hoping, hoping someday my channel will get discovered and people will start subscribing to it. Right now I'm losing subscribers every day. I don't know why, but um, I go to my channel in the morning and I lost 10 subs in the night before. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, the other guy has a million subscribers and I'm hoping to catch up with him. So if you guys can do anything to help, whatever you can do, appreciate it. Like share it with your friends or put it somewhere else or link it or something. There, I'm gonna leave that dry because uh, anymore right now I'll probably make a mess of it. So. Let's leave that dry for about a half an hour and we'll come back and put a second coat on it. That's just the right color for Gerald. So, there he is, look. Number four. Perfect. Okay, there's a picture again of Gerald. And here is Gerald. We're working on him right now. This is going to be the second coat. Get a nice zoom, nice tight. And I got my brush all ready to go here for the second coat of this nice gray paint. And hopefully, it'll cover it this time. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look, perfect cover. Nice, good. Okay, now I gotta get the rest of the paint on without being in my shadow. And I know you guys like the close up, so I gotta leave it zoomed in as much as I can so you can see what I'm doing. Now, this is a great job because uh, a great um, car because his mouth is already open. I have to draw a white line on his mouth. Looks like his mouth is open in the video game. So he's probably talking. I don't think I heard Gerald talk. Does Gerald talk in the, in the show or? to just challenge light into a race and that's it. And I forget, I know I raced a lot of times against Gerald, but not too much. I remember about it actually, it's been a long time. I just tried to boot the game up just now on my computer. I still have it on my computer, but it needs a disc. I'll have to dig the disc out later, see if I can play it. I don't think I'll be allowed to use gameplay for Pixar Cars video game because it'll probably be nabbed for um, copyright, so I'm not gonna bother doing that. I'd love to do a live game stream though, that'd be cool. Look at the nice job that is now, it's perfect. Okay, I have to get my lights fixed here soon because I'm kind of in my in my shadow a lot. If you hadn't noticed, that's great. I'll do my best to, to counter it. One of my light bulbs burnt out up there in the rack, so a little bit darker here right now. I'm gonna just do it, the stuff here with the big brush and then I'll get the finishing brush to do, do the uh, windshield and windows again. That's be perfect. This is gonna be nice, thanks again. Um, you guys are great at giving me ideas. Like, who would have thought of Gerald? Like one guy even said, you're doing cards from Pixar video game? Yes, we are, because people request it, and I make it. That's what we do here. What other things would you like to see me doing on my channel? I'd love to know what I can do to keep you guys interested and keep more subscribers coming. I kind of, uh, I think I was mentioning I don't get many subscribers anymore. I, I'm probably losing subscribers every day. I don't know what's going on with that. I wish I was getting a couple of hundred subscribers a day, but I'm actually losing 10 or 15 a day. I'm not sure if it's because nobody likes these videos. I hope you guys do. I get lots of likes and lots of views on them, so I don't know what else I can do. Am I talking too much or not talking at all enough? Or is my music no good? Or should I use music at all? Maybe I'll start asking the poll questions. Should I keep using music or would you prefer no background music? I kind of like the music because it keeps, kind of puts me in the, the mood when I'm watching the video to keep watching it, actually. So I guess that's probably good if you like to watch with music. If not, let me know and I'll reconsider that. I just do it because I thought you guys like it. Okay, got a little bit of gray pink on my tire. That's not too bad though. Okay, let's fix the roof up, it's kind of thick there. Then I'll get the little brush for the eyes. I'm almost done here, this car is perfect. A tiny little brush 
for the eyes. Here it goes, guys. Here it goes, guys. I'm zooming in on the eyes. Here it goes. Ready? Not gonna get any on the, the white, just on the yellow. Perfect. I'm glad I got this little brush. Is that out of focus? Sorry about that. I couldn't tell. Okay, there we go. If you guys are watching the premiere, thanks very much for sticking by. I appreciate that. And it's kind of like, uh, it kind of actually goes down a bit in the eyes. I'm going to make a little bit of change here to it. A little meaner looking there. How's that look? Just about right. There. That looks perfect. Now I'm going to leave him dry. And when I come back, I'm going to put some circles on the doors and start getting ready for the number four. There's not much else to it other than that. And other than that, that'll be about it. Okay. Let's leave that. Oh yeah, the white mouth, right, okay. And oh yeah, a little bit of white around the windows, that's right too. Okay, let's leave that dry and come back a little while. Okay, the paint's all dry perfectly. And I'm gonna try and make a, a circle on the door. I'm gonna show you the picture first of what it looks like. The door looks just like that. A white circle and a black four. So I have to do the white circle first. I'm gonna be probably gonna make a big blob and try and spread it around and make sure it's circular around. I'm not having very good luck making circles and stuff like that there. And I'm gonna try my best to make it perfect. It's right in the middle of the door. See, that's pretty good. It's one of my best ones ever. What do you think? I'm gonna put number four on that when I come back. But I have to do the other side too. But first, I also wanna do around the window because the window has a little bit of white all around it. I'm gonna try and do this right now without, without making too many mistakes. Okay, and I got this nice little brush. I'm go right along the side here, see if I can leave a little white trim. I do a better job when the uh, car is actually stable and not in my hand. I have it sitting on the tray right now, I think. That looks better. Almost better. Oh, I got some on the window, but that's okay. A little more back here. I did it. Wow, nice. Okay, that needs a number four now. And there, now I'll turn it around to the other side. Well, that was my practice side. This is the real side. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm in my shadow again. I have to get that light fixed. Okay, here goes. A big white circle. The number four. That's even better, that one. Just about perfect. And the front has to have a smile on this right too, and his headlights and stuff have to be white as well. Okay, now the trim. Be very careful this time. Let's see if I can get it just as good as the last side. Yeah, this is a nice brush. And again, guys, thanks again for watching along. I know these videos are long, but some people really like the long videos. I, I ask people what they like, long or short videos, and they say long videos, so it's probably gonna be 20 some minutes long by the time this is done. I don't know exactly because I'm just recording it live now and I'll edit it down later. Down to where it should be. There. A little bit of a blob there. And the front has a smile on his face. Well, I shouldn't say that. His front, his mouth is open. And I'm gonna do all along there in white. And just along here, I'll maybe leave the back gray. He doesn't say much, does he, in the movie? In the, in the video game, I don't think. Perfect. And his headlights. These are the real headlights. Jaguar. Um, that was out of focus, guys. I'm very sorry. I'm trying to get close-ups for you. And Gerald's bumper is also white, so I'm going to do that in white. On number four, and that'll be the end of it. Wow, 
Okay, now I have to do the bottom of the bumper right there. I'll hold the car right there. Can you see the line where the bumper is? There, that's front of Gerald. Now I need the number four in black. I'm gonna leave that dry for a few minutes first before I put the black on there. Okay, everything's all dry. I got the doors marked on, the front's done, the eyes are perfect. Now I have to make the number four inside this here to make Gerald complete. Now, let's hope I can do that. See how close I can get to a zoom. Oh, too far. Okay, here goes. Okay, it's one of those funny fours too, isn't it? I'm gonna draw a straight line. Whoa, that's probably the best one I ever did. That is just perfect. There's the picture of the car, and there's the car. Let's do the other side. If I can do it that good on the other side, I'll be, I'll be amazed. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, just enough on the brush, I guess. Just the right amount. There, that is the finished product. Let's clean up, guys, and set this up next to the other cars. So there you have it guys, Gerald from the Cars video game. Can't buy it in any stores. Absolutely beautiful. And right next to that is El Guapo. Perfect. And right behind them is Tater and Tater Jr. Thanks for watching guys. And I'm probably gonna have um, um, Emma out on Sunday. Here's Emma, I'm gonna use that for Emma. And here's my car I'm going to use for Stinger, okay? I'm going to show you a picture of Stinger right now. There's Stinger, okay? And here is Rod Torkline, okay? He's going to be the new Stinger, so I'll put that aside here for now. And that'll be the next one, or the next one, I'm not sure yet. And there is my beautiful Gerald. Thanks a lot for suggesting that. He came perfect. Have a great day, guys. And make sure you click up here to subscribe and watch, hit the like button and all that stuff. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.